Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic the assertive leadership. Friend, uh, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in uh, leadership styles and you want to learn about it or also you want to pursue uh, or you want to learn about it. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Friend, assertive leadership can help you create productive work environments increase job satisfaction and resolve conflicts being assertive can enable you to work more efficiently with people and experience greater professional success assertive leadership is a uh, basically a communication style in which people express their thoughts ideas and expectations with their teams in a self assured considerable way this type of leadership involves collaboration with people at all levels of the organization. For example, when trying to find a solution to an issue within their department, an assertive leader may reach out to their team to ask for their feedback. They can then make a confident decision about how to move forward. Other members of the organization may feel more appreciated because their opinions played a role in the decision okay then uh, some think uh, some people think that being assertive at work means acting aggressively toward others however an assertive leader does not take advantage of others treat them poorly or try to intimidate them they also understand that a passive attitude in which leaders lack the confidence to say no or make decisions is not the only alternative. Assertive leadership is about committing to decisions and setting boundaries as a supervisor but it also requires open communication and regard for others. Now the benefits of the assertive leadership, what are those benefits? Uh, it is also very important to understand the benefits of the assertive leadership. Friend, assertive leader management style offers many benefits for leaders and their organizations. Assertiveness can be a very effective approach to management because leaders earn the appreciation of others by supporting their teams People who feel valued by their supervisors are more likely to respect their authority. Some of the benefits of the assertive leadership may include the uncomplicated conflict resolution. People feel comfortable voicing their opinions and working through problems with others. Strong working relationships. Assertive leadership fosters teamwork instead of competition. Respect for supervisors. Support, supportive leadership encourage mutual respect between supervisors and their teams. Motivation to work together towards goals. When people feel valued by, uh, by their teams, by leaders, they may have more motivation to help meet objectives. Positive working environments. When company culture creates a community environment, people experience greater job satisfaction. Uh, career uh, advancement, assertive leadership style skills can contribute to your professional success as well. Uh, friend, uh, basically uh, low turnover uh, like happier teams are less likely to seek employment elsewhere. Company growth when individuals and team succeed the organization thrives. People also benefit from assertive leadership outside the workplace. Assertive traits such as showing concerns for others, thoughts and opinions, feeling confident in your knowledge and abilities and considering both when solving problems can encourage healthy personal relationships. Now how to be an assertive leader? This is a very very important topic. Friend, you can learn to be assertive by developing and practicing the assertive skill set associated with the strong, effective leaders. Finding the right balance between passive and aggressive approach might be challenging at first. 
However, those who communicate assertively typically have more success as leaders than those who are too overbearing or lack of self-confidence. These steps can help you become a more assertive leader as well. First one is to be firm when making the decisions. Very important point that making decisions is an essential part of any leadership position. Leading a successful team or project involves important choices about how to provide guidance, make requests and solve problems. Strong decision making skills help leaders develop important baselines such as policies regarding disciplinary action and job roles. To be an assertive leader, you must feel comfortable making decisions for yourself and your team. Because assertive leaders typically encourage open communication, they often consider their team's input before taking action. Instead of avoiding the concerns of others or allowing others to make choices for them, assertive leaders create a balance. They listen closely to what others have to say and they use the information to make firm decisions as well. Uh, then friend next point is basically related to communicate openly and honestly very very important point friend that assertive leadership requires thoughtful honesty with your team a balanced approach to honest communication is critical because it builds trust improve morale and helps people make positive changes assertive leaders acknowledge people's success successes to avoid focusing on the negative. Pointing out areas for improvement can be constructive when leaders introduce both the problem and potential solutions. They emphasize how the experience can help the person learn and grow instead of discouraging them. This is very interesting point friend. Then the next point is friend that give clear and concise direction. Assertive leaders know exactly what they expect and they make it clear to their teams. Although they welcome ideas and have great working relationships, they are ultimately responsible for determining how their team operates. Assertive leaders must give clear directions and encourage their teams to contact them if they have any questions. When people do not have the information they need to move forward, they likely will not be as productive because they don't know what to do next. They may also feel that they do not have the adequate support they need which can make them more hesitant to reach out for help. So uh, friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it, for, uh, share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.